All right, today I want to share with you uh, how I do my PCB toner transfers. Show you the process I use. It's uh, pretty much the same as what's out there. Uh, one little difference is what I'm printing on is this, which is the backer to Arlon vinyl uh, that the sign makers use. You can, sign makers throw this out all the time. I just peeled the vinyl off the front. Um, this works amazing. The print, printer sticks to it. Uh, doesn't rub off and when you're ready to peel it off your circuit board there's no water it just it literally pops right off iron method here and I also happen to have a heat press which I show as well good thermometer so you know your temperature so you're not gonna liquefy it you'll just get it soft let's get to it all right so I've got my board design here in Eagle um, I've got a ground plane over the whole thing just to keep a little more copper on the board and we are going to print it. Uh, I got my printer set to the high setting 1200 DPI and the toner saver off. Uh, this is the front of the board, so you want to make sure you mirror it. Your scale factor should be one. Uh, sometimes you got to tweak that a little bit if your printer, sometimes they print a little bit smaller. Uh, I've got everything black, and on the board I've got my pads, vias, and uh, traces turned on, and only the front. Hit OK. Alright, I am using a Brother 2040 uh, laser jet printer. I know a lot of people have trouble with Brother. I do have a genuine Brother toner in there. So what I do is I print out one to start. Um, that way I know where it is on the paper. And what I'm using for backing is this is a roll of vinyl here. Um, this is from Arlon. You can see that. Um, Arlon vinyl use on a vinyl cutter, sign shops and stuff. What I'm using is the backing of it. So what I did is I cut off a strip of it and just peeled off the vinyl and actually threw it away. You could probably go to a sign shop and they've got tons of this stuff that they've taken off other stuff. Um, but I'm going to put it on here, cut it so it's a little bit oversized. Okay, so got the piece I cut and I'm going to place it right over that image. Okay. So on a brother printer, if you hold the, the go button down, you see the lights flash once it gets there. It'll print whatever it printed last. Okay. There's the print. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's, it's attached. You can rub it. You can scrape it off if you use your fingernail, but it's on there All pretty right. good. I normally use a press to do this, but for the video, I'm going to use an iron. Um, one of the biggest things that I had problems with using the iron originally was it would either not stick or it'd melt the traces and they'd squish out too much. Um, so what I do is I leave the iron face down. It warms up what you're on. Obviously, keep an eye on it. You don't want to catch any fire, but you don't need it that hot. So uh, get a thermometer. Lay it in there after it's warmed up. And uh, from what I, what I found, at least with the, the Brother, you want to move it around a little bit. The Brother printer, the Brother toner, it's somewhere around 280 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, lets me leave it on there long enough where I know it's uh, started to soften and sticks to the copper, but not so long that it melts and squishes out the traces. So I'm about, I'd say 40% of the way up on this iron. Um, I can't imagine that's going to be consistent between irons. It's in the lower end of the permanent press. That seems to be just about right. So, got your board. Um, scotch brighted it um, with a scotch bright and wiped it down real good with acetone. Make sure it's super clean. Got our trace. Um, I like to cut it pretty close to the size, just a little bit over. That way I know I'm centered on the board. You want to keep this clean too. You don't want to get your fingerprints on this either. And I like to put a little piece of tape on there. To get in place. Wrap this around so... Holds on the board. 
I like to put a paper towel down over it. It just kind of helps distribute uh, the pressure. Paper towel. Put it where the iron was, where it's nice and hot. And then you're just going to want to start your timer. Two minutes works out pretty good for me. Um, you want a lot of downward pressure on here. So I hold it down there for a good 30 seconds to a minute. Start without really moving the iron. Uh, you want to shift your weight on the iron so you're pushing on one side of the board, the other, back and forth. I find if you don't do that and you think you're on there nice and square, half the board will be really good and half of it will be, it won't stick. So you need a lot of pressure. This is why I like to use a, a press, which I'll show a little bit later. Um, gives real accurate results, but I know most people have an iron, most people don't have a vulcanizing press. If your temperature's set right, you can't over melt it so it'll squish out and ruin your traces. So. Timer. And I like to put a little bit of weight on there just as it cools. Makes me feel better. Also cools a little bit quicker. Okay, and this is why I like the Arlon so much right here is no water, no messing around, no nothing. And there you go. It's a really nice looking transfer. Looks like we could have had a little more pressure up there. Some of that's the board coming through. Um, but the traces themselves look good. Got a touch up one there, a little bit there. Not too bad though. Those are probably holes from the irons actually. Should have moved around a little more. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, the press that I use uh, everything up to the irons the same so this time I'm gonna do a double sided board I got my two patterns cut out and lined up again taping them in place so they don't slide around too much and I'm using this which is from my jewelry studio and it is a balkanizer for making rubber molds uh, for doing wax injection for jewelry. Um, essentially we got two real thick aluminum plates, heating elements top and bottom, uh, temperature control, thermostat kicks on and off, um, and big threaded rod to give us lots of down pressure. Uh, this works out great. I know most people probably aren't going to have one of these, but if you know, know somebody that's a jeweler, or you might be able to see one at a yard sale or something and you don't know what it is. I do. So I got some rubber in here. Just again, distributes the weight a little bit. Make sure everything stays in place. Slide it in there. Crank it down. Again, you want a lot of pressure there. Set your timer and wait, wait your two minutes. All right, turn it off. Part pretty carefully. More careful than that. Again. A little weight while it's cooling, doesn't hurt.
again. Why I like the Arlon. Is it just comes right up. Clean as that. There's really nothing left on the paper except for where it wasn't touching the board there. Just have a really nice complete transfer. There we go. I'll cut those stickers off. You can just see the nose are super nice. Nice and clean. And again, no soaking in water or alcohol. Just comes right off.